There's a story to be told. It's not so long, tales for young and old. Won't you come along? Tee diddly. Die. Hello. Hello there, my friends. Hi. Yeah, it's seen of the sheep, you know. Well, of course I'm a sheep. Why do I always say that? Huh. You know, you know that I'm a sheep, but I always seem to like to tell you. Anywho, how are you, my friends? Are you well? Yeah, you're looking well. Yeah, I must say. I'm very, I'm very excited to see you today. Do you remember Slippy the Snail, right? Yeah, well, Slippy's a really good friend. Yeah, he's very, very, very slow. Yeah, but he's the best listener. Yeah, he hears every word because he has to concentrate so hard. It seems everything for a snail is slow. Mm -hmm. Anyways, like I was saying, he's the best listener. Sometimes I just need someone to talk to, do you know? Do you have a good friend to talk to? Yeah? Oh, good. You too. Talking to Slippy doesn't replace Mommy and Daddy, though. Talking to friends is fun because they are similar in age and they also share the same likes and dislikes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The other day I was talking to Slippy about a problem I was having, you know. I already told my Mommy and Daddy about it. It's always important to tell mummies and daddies when you're having a problem. Mm-hmm. It was about... It was a problem about I was having a school. You see, our school wants to put on a musical. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like a play, but with lots and lots of singing. In order to be part of the musical, you need to audition. <laughs> Sorry, it's a hard word. Audition! <laughs> yeah. This means anyone who wants to sing in it has to learn a piece of music and then needs to... Audition. Mm hmm. So, you need to practice a song and then sing in front of a group of judges. They then decide who's best to sing in the show. I was feeling very brave one day, so I decided to go to the office and put my name down for the audition. Yeah, I know. That sounds like a big deal for me, and it is. Do you know, I struggle with being shy. Yeah, but I'm getting better. Uh, yeah. So, I was, I struggled a little bit being shy, and the big deal was that when I went down to the office to, to sign up, I saw Margaret O'Hannigan sign up before me. Yeah. What's that? Who's she? Well, she's only the prettiest and most talented sheep in the whole village. Her bows always look amazing. Her wool is perfectly white and Super fluffy. Mm -hmm. Her voice sounds angelic. I personally don't know what an angel sounds like. But if I heard one, it'd probably sound like Margaret's. Yeah. As soon as I saw her sign up, I walked away. Yeah. I just knew that she would easily get the part, so there's no sense in me even trying, you know? I was so upset inside. I mean, I was... I was, I was so brave to even think about signing up for an audition. I was even excited to pick a song to sing. I had been practicing a lot on my own, you know. Mm -hmm. I also like singing in church. We sing so many great songs on Sunday mornings. Mm -hmm. I ran out of the office and I cried all the way home. Mm -hmm. And then I ran straight into my bedroom and hid under my sheets. I did. It wasn't too long before my uh, mummy came to my room. She sat, she sat down on my bed and asked me what I was crying about. I told her what happened at school and how, how I wasn't going to audition for the school musical anymore. Mummy was so good to listen to me. Mm -hmm. Do you know who else, who else was listening? Slippy. Yeah, Slippy. I didn't even know he was in my room. Apparently, he got stuck to one of my pictures that we were working on before school. Yeah. We had lost track of time, 
And when I jumped up to grab my school bag, I accidentally spilled the glue right on Slippy. Poor guy. He was stuck in the middle of my flower picture all day. Yeah. I was wondering why he didn't show up at school. <laughs> anyway, he asked my mom, who had peeled him off the flower by this point, if he could share something with me. He had heard the entire conversation I had with Mummy. Mm -hmm. He said that he learned something special from the Bible that he thought might be of help. He said that the Lord does not look at the person, does not look at the things a person looks at. Yeah. People look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart, like our insides. Mm hmm. First Samuel 16, 7. He said I shouldn't worry about what I look like, nor should I compare myself to Margaret. God looks at my heart and doesn't care what I look like. And if God doesn't care about those things, then I shouldn't either. The same goes for you too, my friends. The Lord sees your heart just like he sees mine. Can you believe it? Yeah. You can't worry about what others think of you, okay? Yeah. Good, good, good. Yeah. So, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to try it for the musical. Yeah. Yeah. Mommy and Sippy are so encouraged for me, and they really encouraged me to do it. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. In fact, I need to go do some practicing. Yeah, I better get going. I need to warm up my voice. Me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. Ha, ha, ha. Anyways, um, uh, I gotta go for now. Okay, I'm gonna start practicing my singing. All right? It's good to see you again, my friends. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. There's a story to be told. It's not so long, tales for young and old. Won't you come along? Tee diddly die. Tee diddly die. Tee diddly die. die.